Hello! Welcome! I know it's been a while. Holy crap. Um, I don't really have any excuses. This, I, I've just been sort of gone. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hey, I finally just, I keep, I kept like forgetting to make videos. Like, like I, I'd be like, man, I need to make a video soon. And then I'd forget as soon as I'm home. I just like blank on it. And I am sorry to have left you all hanging on anything. Literally no content, which is sad, honestly. I don't want to be one of those YouTubes who, YouTubers who only uploads like once every year. I don't make videos that are good enough for that. Or like half a year or something. Uh, so I'm going to try and make videos as often as I can. Sometimes I'll release like, I don't know, three or four in a, in a row. Sometimes I'll just release one once every, I don't know, month if I'm something happens, but generally I'm just, I'll try and upload as much as I can. Today we're playing Tainted Grail, Fall of Avalon. Four dwellers. Ooh. You can create things from weirdness with the power of their will. So this is a, uh, I don't even know what this about this game that much. Like, I did not do much research at all. I saw one review that was like, if you like Skyrim with, like, its own world built, a game kind of like Skyrim, but with its own lore and world building, Consuming red death. then this is the game for you. Started the age of conquest and took the island from the four dwellers, using the mysterious powers of men his. Together with Merlin, they cleansed the land of the weirdness, a primordial force of chaos and possibility. But now, long after the death of the king, Camelot is in shambles as Avalon fractures into chaos. Old legends are gone, and the weirdness is creeping back into our lands. The bleeding heart of the plague has started beating once more. I love the art. And the Red Death has returned. Rulers of the Island Asylum, an order of the Red Priests, are desperate to stop it by any means necessary. Rotting in one of their cells is a stranger who might bring a spark of change to this cursed island stuck in everlasting autumn. I'm guessing that's us. <laughs> Character builder. Alright, let's see what we got. Just a couple of presets to mess around with. I like the look of this guy. I wonder if I can... Uh... Normal or muscular? Well, I'll just do uh, go with normal. Get pastier a little bit here. All right, I actually kind of. Oh, we can change up the face. I wish you'd stop turning so I could actually keep an eye on your action on your face. This one, you did the hair like goes into the face. You can't see it as well. Some of these you can see it more so than others. That's interesting that the hair doesn't change with the face. So what face you have to fix that? Go to this guy. I am actually going to keep the long hair and just the. Keep it black. And now for the facial hair, this is I actually kinda kinda like this, just the default. Can get a more fanciful mustache on it. You know, this is going to be a nod to one of my friends. He, he's, he's probably not going to watch this. Maybe I'll tell him to watch it. But I'm going to name him Callus. I just do normal. Don't know what we're getting into here. Normal Rise damage, normal. Rise and shine. Yes, it's me again. And I hope this time you'll cooperate without me needing to repeatedly hit you in the face, eh? 
Look, we just have to get this over and done with. Unless you want a visit from someone upstairs. And trust me, you don't. Just like before, no food until we're done here. And the moment you start getting on my nerves, we're going back to my tried and tested fists. So, tell me, what were you doing in the forest when the Red Shields caught you? Ooh, okay, so we can sort of uh, let, set up our backstory. I was looking for yeah, an ancient worship site. You look site. like one of those half-starved druids who survived the charred conclave. We've picked almost all of you up from the forest by now, so there aren't many of you crooks left out there. So, you're a tree hugger then. I study healing so that's magic. That's why I keep punching you, yet you look so suspiciously healthy. We'll make more of a challenge for you soon enough. Okay. I'll, cool. So we, than I expected. we get some ability based now, on what we chose. Fortunately, we'll have to start. Okay then. I always found it puzzling that these people won't bathe. You, I understand, you're literally rotting in this damned cell, but them. There's just no excuse for the stench. Dude shot him in the head and called him a stinky ass. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> I know, I know you have a million questions forming in your head, but they'll have to wait. One of these keys will open your cell. When you get out, head left. I'll scout ahead. Okay, then. I'll just accept that. Now that once he's gone, inventory. Here we are. We get some. We don't really have much of anything, but we do have uh, the ability to use a healing spell. Is this like a mul any time I can I can use it I can use it kind of thing. Is that like left-handed and that's right-handed? I also have the key. Well, there we go. Nope. Okay. I think we all, yeah, we also got a weapon and some mead. He mead heals mana. Well, that used up my stamina quite heavily. That's how I use my spell. Uh, I can't block unless I have that unequipped. Shift is to sprint, R is to hide the weapon, V active objective. wonder if there's anything in any of these cells. That one looks like it has something. But you need a lockpick. First came the prophet, then came the word. The word is sacred. The Pope is cardinals and priests receive the word. The word is the way. We are all brothers and sisters starving for the word. The word is sustenance. Together in all these loving we walk the pilgrims throughout. The word is our strength. We repent by facing the trial of the plague. The world is our cure. The word is our cure. The priest clad in red guide us towards grace. The word is salvation. There are no other sanctities. Only the prophet's word and the will of the red church. Do not doubt your faith and you will be rewarded. In other words, uh, listen to us, do as we say, or... Uh, you're a, what's the word? A heathen? No, that's not quite it. Oh, seven commands again. More pails. I don't know what I can do with these pails. It's worth a little bit of money. This is very Skyrim-esque. Yeah, it, does, it has that sort of vibe. There's no, like, view bobbing, which is interesting, so I'm kind of just... Which honestly is good in a lot of ways. A lot of people don't like that because it's, uh, you know, affects your vision and everything. I was told I had left. This is right. Ooh. You YouTube, look away. I'm just going to take that. Or, uh, if you wanted to read that, you can pause and look. But otherwise, uh, just you saw nothing. Ooh, some lockpicks. Sweet. 
Mashed potatoes. Oh wow! Look, <laughs> what is that? What is that art? I'm just gonna. Oh, oh there's more of it. I just keep looking away. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, this is very much like reminiscent of Skyrim lock picking. Not bad. A little bit less uh, quality, more indie game style. It moves so quickly. You have to move. It's got like such high sensitivity on that. Thief with theft reached level eleven. Okay, cool. Bone meal, more of the seven commandments, not taking testament treatment records. Some ingredients and such. Nice. Loot. Ah, I had a note. Ah, I see. A heart, a jar. <laughs> ah, the food. That I was promised. Another jar. All right, I think that's everything in here. Everything that can be looted has been looted. Ooh. Food stuffs. kinds of goods. Alright. We have some stuff we could actually cook with. I wonder if we can use that cooking pot. Oh! Athletics! Guess I should run more and level that up. Oh. Uh, important stuff, but settings, controls, crouch, change that to C. Oh, it's even got, like, the Skyrim-style crosshair. Ah, cool. So we can actually make some stuff. Let's see. Flour, milk. We, do, we, we don't have any egg. Honey. Pancakes. Nice. I figured that would make something. Onion, cabbage, beef. Vegetable soup. Beef. Groats and... Or, let's see. Beef, onion, garlic. That's just more vegetable soup. Venison, groats, potage, cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. <laughs> Bunch of fried cabbage. <laughs> oh, I see. So there's actually, uh. I. Oh, cool. You don't actually have to figure out recipes. You can just make things that are. I don't have cabbage anymore. <laughs> Alright. I don't know if there's any reason to hold on to this stuff. We might as well just cook what we can of the best options that we have. Keep on moving.
amputation knife. Oh yeah, that's right. I got an old note that I never looked at. Let's see. Old letter. the name Llewellyn. Uh, how sad. Another heart. Some fish oil, more devil's snare. Mizzle toe devil's snare. There's quite a bit to loot already in this first dungeon. Or, I guess it is technically a dungeon. Brains. I don't even know what I can do with these, but I'm going to take them. A whole bunch of brains and hearts and other weird stuff to have on you. Intriguing. Doing a bunch of experiments on the disease on the diseased and such in this dungeon. All me clearly, these people are members of the church, considering like. I don't know if any of these are useful. Okay, yeah, so this can be used as a weapon. That can't. It is worth a decent amount of money, but we'll see. Hmm. So, dude turned into basically a weird zombie. What the hell have you people been up to? Why are there like weird necromantic s circles and stuff? Y'all are not some church, you're some sort of weird, like, cult. At least it's not a sex thing. <laughs> At least I hope it's not. Man, this one's difficult. do with all these glass bottles, but well, I don't know what my like carry weight limit is either. I haven't like reached it at all yet, so I'll just keep taking weird things until I need to drop stuff. Or I can sell it. <laughs> Alcohol and sage are for and stage for healing. I need the laboratory key. Well, I'll probably find it on one of these bodies down here or something. Yep, thought so. Some priest stuff. This is a better armor. <laughs> it's light versus heavy. Eh, well, that's the same stat-wise. Oh, 
Oh my. I'm not afraid to suffer. Alrighty then. Continue taking random stuff. Spectral sword. That's a recipe or something. Oh no, it's a spell. Summons a spectral sword. That's cool. So let's see. I can change that to that. And then I can... Got a new spell. Ooh, hidden area. Does not last long, that. sort of slide by sprinting and then crouching. Stay alert. Sacrifice to the Why can't I attack? I can't pull out my weapons. There it goes. The word is with me. Oh. I am the prophet's hammer. Parch the unclean. All right, uh, back to a normal weapon. Oh, my faith will not falter. With fire. Uh. The word protects me. Wow, your stamina for melee is really low. Well, it's a good thing I have healing magic. I'm gonna have to get better at managing my stamina. <laughs> Because it takes like two swings for it to be out. You will burn. Okay, I feel like I uh, still don't know what I'm doing with all these, but taking them anyway. Lots of brains and hearts that I just keep collecting. Maybe I can do alchemy with them. Who knows? Small mana potion. Can craft a few of those. Can craft a few of these. Ah, cool. So it doesn't it can use whatever alcohol it needs, so we'll just... We have a lot of alcohol, and we might as well craft all of these. And all these different mushrooms, too. Alright, cool. Bunch of levels in alchemy and stuff, too. Oh, the hole goes deeper. Do 
Someone's gonna like, ar I'm gonna get arrested or something, and they're just gonna see all these brains and hearts that I have collected in jars in my backpack, and they're gonna be like, oh, we caught a mass murderer, a serial killer or something. It's a good thing. Is this the way we came? Could be. No, it's different. Have we been here? I don't think we have. This is the other side of where we killed that uh, guy. The uh, guy who had the key. This is actually where we were meant to go eventually. But I guess we could have gotten into it from the other side. Wooden arrows and a bow. Sweet. Oh, we can set up different loadouts too. I forgot about that. So we have that loadout. We can set up a magic only loadout. We can set up a regular, just a club. And then we can set up a loadout with a club and a healing spell. And then we can do whichever one we want. You took your sweet time, eh? But I understand. I did too when I was leaving this place for the first time. You have to admit, the Red Priests are quite resourceful when it comes to death and dying. Great question, truly. But in case you haven't noticed, we're still within the walls of the Island Asylum. When we're out, then we'll talk. I'm told this path leads to the beach. I don't know how... Okay, then. Weird plasm. Hammer. Not a very good hammer. What is weird plasm? Ah, oh, some consumable. Worth a fair bit of money. As far as my standards go for now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What the heck? Intriguing. There's something going on here. Hmm. I still have yet to reach my, like, weight limit. Ah. I see. It ba armor affects your weight. And so... When I'm wearing this stuff... Now I'm light, and I don't use more mana and stuff. That's good. I, I like the way that they did that to uh, classify for that kind of thing. But we'll see. I'm wondering if there's something I can do for this yet, or if I have to do something later. Let's see. I'm going to try something real quick. We're going to save. New save. Yeah. I just wanted to see if I could touch that or not. Ah, cool. It just brings you back. I don't even have to... Save's coming. All right, well.
Now that I'm not using an absurd amount of stamina. Hello? There he goes. Dude's all like zombified out and whatnot. Do I actually have a weight limit in my inventory? I have. Oh, there it is. I was like, where is it? Because I've been picking up a lot of stuff. <laughs> Someone who has three arms. Oh, okay. Oh! I have entered some weird dimension. Like knights standing up some sort of weird people. I don't like the way these dolls are looking at me. These statues. With their weird round bald heads. Glittering stone. Ooh, increase your magic armor by 50. It's an amulet. Found a pretty nice item early on. I have been waiting a long time for someone to find me. Are you here to help me leave this place? Uh. Why do you want to leave? I've been here for what seems like an eternity. Why are you? Why here? are you here? A man here that would explain the weirdness surrounding us. I wish I could answer. I cannot remember. I know I am not complete. I remember I once knew who I was. I remember I once knew. At some point. But I do not anymore. I just am. Uh, where is this I do place? Not know. I think it is some kind of prison deep in the weirdness. Well, why would the weirdness lock away something evil? It must be something good being locked away by something evil. I of course. Must be. I do not know. Was I sent here for a reason? Did I end up here by accident? Like you. You are looking for a way out yourself. I think we might be able to help one another with that. I shall do something now. But trust uh, me, the discomfort will be worth the outcome. Okay, then. Temporal hold unlocked. What is that? Hmm. I don't know what this whole temporal hold thing is, but I have not... I don't see anything about it, so... Wait. Cool skill stuff. I'm not going to dig too much into that. Oh, I see. It has, it has something to do with this, doesn't it? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It'll probably tell us. I should stop trying to figure it out and just do it.
Huh. Okay. Can I change the key that that's on? I don't like having to press in my mouse wheel, because it's kind of awkward. Yes, let's see. Change that to just mouse 5. Cool. I am sorry I did not ask for your permission to do that, but I hope it was worth it, as promised. This is kind of awkward. I'm just gonna... I found a bit of emptiness within your heart. A place where I could dwell for a while. It seems that I am a piece of a shattered soul. Judging by my abilities, I used to belong to what your kind would call a Fore-Dweller. I have already told you, I need your help to leave this place. And when we are out of here, I will need your help finding the rest of me to make me whole again. I feel I am but a shadow of what I once was. Yeah, it's kind of like making a deal with the devil for a power or something. Okay, sure. Look for what is left of me whenever you step into the weirdness. I know your kind tends to avoid it, but you do not have to be afraid. I will be your shield against the darkness. I will try to help as much as I can, but I need you to hold up your end of the bargain. Uh, sure, yeah. Thank you. We shall meet again, then. Find the weirdness and look for me within the darkness. I'm not sure it's a good thing for him to be saying, look for me within the darkness. Like, that doesn't bode well for you being good in any capacity. But what do I know? Hmm. They built this whole, like, arena thing, but, like... You'd barely use it. Kill like a few guys. Hmm. What the giant fucking... I thought that was a crab at first, but no. Giant undead dirt and bone and all kinds of weird stuff. Powering some sort of weird giant machine. Huh. I thought this was going to be important, or there was going to be something about it, but nope, just keep moving. Ignore whatever that is. Okay, then. I'm just going to... How did you get over here? Guard the peace of the working titans, for without them we would not have power within our walls. Away from Tuathan, only the power of what is underground allows us to reach what where weirdness does not... Even when we leave, the Titans will not stop working. It is how they were created. With their power, one day we will manage to learn what lies beyond the sea. Ha. So they're trying to escape this island that they're on. Okay. We found out what was beyond the sea. We didn't like it. It's kind of a dwarves dug too deep kind of situation, except instead of digging too deep, y'all just went too far. <laughs> I 
Weird stone. Just worth a lot of money, I guess. I wonder if it's possible to progress without actually picking up the, uh, that forward dweller guy. Or the piece of his soul or whatever. Or is that, like, a required thing? Oh, it's got magic. What do you know? spell. Like an anchor buried in the ground or something. Ooh, found some stuff. Ooh. So, what's been going on here was not part of them. It was a heresy. They're being, they were experiencing weird voices, falling to the weirdness. Spreading its influences. What have you. Uh, back to just looting literally everything I can. Classic. <laughs> Truly peak Skyrim. Sage Wolf Spain, Carnation Mistletoe. Hmm. I'm just trying to drop a heart into the bowl. I offer my heart to you, or well, actually, it's not my heart. I, I mean, it sort of belongs to me, but somebody else's heart to you. <laughs> yeah, some new pants. It's a medium armor piece. Can I wear those pants? I can, and I'm still light. Nice. It looks stupid with his headgear. I wonder if I can swim. Best not to f test it too. Can I swim? I can swim. Cool. One more thing to look at over here, and then, then we can go see those other people who I saw over there. Okay. I think we're good. Did get a new note.
Why are most of these letters, like, written in blood or something? I don't know who the other two people here are. There he is. Now that we're all here, meet your new comrades, conquer in Syria. Get some rest, people, and prepare for the journey. We're leaving at dusk. Not so fast, brother. I'm not getting near a goddamn boat unless I know where I'm going. Away from here, brother. Isn't that enough? A few wish. But since we're all here and we have some time to kill, it would be nice if you finally explained what the hell's going on. You've helped us leave our cages, great. But even though we're grateful, you owe us an explanation. What do you want from us? To show some damn gratitude for one thing. Caradoc, we weren't born yesterday. No one would risk getting into trouble with the priests for nothing. Why did you save us? I need you to kill King Arthur. You're insane. He's insane. The King Arthur that has already been dead for 600 years, King Arthur. Precisely. But he's dead. You probably wouldn't have heard about it among the tribes little picked, but every single time things go down the shitter on this island, a bunch of cowards in Camelot bring our once and future king back from the dead. It's happened before. It will happen again. And soon. Huh. Of... <sighs> ah, fine. Have it your way. Let's say I believe you. You can't be serious. He believes that. There's no point in arguing with a madman. But that still doesn't explain why you saved us, Caradoc. I wish I knew why I was ordered to save you three specifically. Personally, I don't see the appeal. But I don't question my orders, and if you get on my boat, you won't question mine. Understood? Now get some rest. Huh. The tide's not right. So somebody ordered him to the save us. Start working in our favor by and us. these other two. Fine. But where are we going? But for exactly. what purpose to, to the kill south. the... Nice. Or I shouldn't say for what purpose. Why us, people? of all people? Why would we stop there? Do they teach you, Del Rida, anything? To take the Excalibur, obviously. Obviously. Ooh, Excalibur. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Now pin these emblems to your clothes. They will grant you free passage to the horns. And get some sleep. You all look like you're about to keel over. And we have a long journey ahead of us. Oh, I can set these up. All right, healing, mana. And I guess I'll just set up a food. How many quests can I track at once? Hmm. All right. I told you to get. I wish I could tell you, but I have no idea where it led. All I know is that I was supposed to show you the way. The question was whether you were meant to see it through. I don't need to know, and I don't really want... Everyone's working for someone, but don't even hope I'll tell you who I'm working for. All you need to know for now is that we're heading... Yes, the one and only. Listen, I... Well, we'll have to see. Okay, then. I have a bad feeling about all this. I wish there was some other way of getting off this cursed island. She got some interesting, like, horns going on.
We could. But what if we get caught again? Gods only know what they do to me now. Besides, look around. Nothing here. What a... Why? Have you never heard of the famous horned woman of Avalon before? Of course they're new, you nitwit. A gift from our kind friends in red. Huh. Same as you, I guess. Wrong time, wrong place. The they snatched me up too. Said that since I was an... Hmm. <laughs> You better remember that I can push you off the boat, and I will. I trust he won't kill us until he gets what he wants. But what he wants is. So we're in the hands of either a madman or a lion. Huh. Yes. He's also awfully confident for someone so... But I'll be honest with you. Right now, I couldn't overpower a kitten, much less an armed mercenary. Still, if... Because someone ordered... Think about it. He helped us escape, and nobody even tried to stop... His employers must be some powerful people. You're not serious, are you? Are you really asking me if I believe that some... Trust me. No matter what Caradoc claims, weirdness cannot bring back the dead. It might be for the best. Huh. Yeah. You are right there, Pop. Ready to kill again? With great bloody difficulty, that's how. What's it to you, anyway? A dozen? Ha! Ah, they wish. Those bastards laid the trap, hoping I'd be easy pickings. They ended up needing damn near a full army to take me down. Well, you're confident, Spineless I like that. Pricks. They make my blood boil. I swear to you. There was maid, there were women. One thing led to another, and I woke up with my pants down, surrounded by gobshites in the red. I was fighting with my bare ass hanging out. And I still managed to kill a dozen of them. Useless, no. Must have added something to the maid. Hell no. I ain't letting anyone touch me unless I'm in a brothel. Ah, shite. Just remembered they don't have any of those in the horns. And I thought this day couldn't get any worse. Anyway, worry about yourself. Or the last of the horns. I'll live. Fancy yourself a bit of a badass, eh? Which tribe do you want to know about? Volker? Svein? Dude? You'll find as many of them as fleas on a mutt. And the only thing we all agree on is that Camelot needs to be put in its place. It's about time we reminded them why they wanted us to come here. We came to this blasted island as one people. But Camelot forgot that the moment they stopped needing us for their wars. They hmm. think their shit doesn't smell, and that we're just a bunch of stupid savages that'll happily get killed for a bag of coins and a pretty promise. Ha! No, but I'm... And if he keeps his word and gets us off this blasted... I don't mind beating up some light keepers either. Pack of self-righteous pricks. Ha! <laughs> like they could do anything to me. Bunch of wet rags. They can't even protect their own asses. So they just sit on them inside the walls. Miserable gobshite. Ha! What's there to worry about? If that shifty old bastard tries anything. Okay then. That you. Uh. Huh. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna end the first episode here with the actual escaping of the island and all that jazz. Looted everything, got an inventory full of stuff. You can see my character like half a second, but like shh, completely unclothed and without the hair. You see that? <laughs> That's interesting. That's not even. It's weird. <laughs> like half a second. <laughs> or, or less, even. Alright.
I'll see y'all in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm actually kind of looking forward to playing more of this because, I mean, first-person action RPG, like, how many of those have we had? Especially something that has the sort of same vibe as, like, Skyrim or something. I'm excited. It's not exactly the most graphically stunning, but pff, what are you going to do? It's a, I'd say it's still pretty good, all things considered. I'm certainly looking forward to playing more. All right. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. You're cool.